So we are each a leaf in the wind. And there are many leaves in the wind. We are impermanent as manifestations, as individuations, as localized experiences. We are impermanent, every single one of us, every single individuation that has ever existed and every single individuation to come. We are impermanent. And the I, the self, dissolves back into source, gone, finished, done. Yeah, it's like the ripple in the river, the pattern in the river. And yet, whilst we are here as this, each of us is incredibly important. Each of us is the axis upon which the world spins, because it's only through each of us that consciousness can evolve, evolve, through recognizing itself, through this radical inner transformation in which we are the light, the light of being, the light of, world, of the world. That doesn't make the personhood, the individuation special. There's no savior of the world. We simply are that. And that, if you like, is the imprint that's left in the world, in the vibrational field, the energetic field of the totality. What the outcome is, what that means, we cannot totally know. So going into theories about the evolution of the world, of humankind, is not helpful. Might be attractive, but it's not helpful. Just know this. Feel this. Know that this is your true purpose. That's why it doesn't matter what role you play. And it's impossible to have missed out on anything, because it's now, here, this is it, this is it. And each of us has that opportunity. Okay, it's enough. Uh, never enough, uh, always enough. May I, with your permission, read a little poem that speaks to the miraculous nature that you were referring to some minutes ago? Honorable lady. My honorable queen lady. <laughs> you may, you have my permission, my faithful knight. <laughs> Infinite being in finite form. <clears throat> you are an infinite being. No, you are infinite being. Unlimited and eternal. Playing the game of being finite, limited and temporary. You wear the universe as your clothes. Your hair, the stars as they fly across the night sky. What miracle are you that you speak and dance and feel the beauty and the sorrow? You, yes, you, pure consciousness, walking this world, clothed in the wondrous universe, clothed in form, yet still formless. You seem to be so real, made of matter, skin, and bone. Yet you are water and space, all energy weaved together 
and called a human being. But you are being itself, not a being, but beingness itself. If only you could see what a miracle you truly are.